see you. All right, uh, we do have some construction. Uh, first of all, we do have a closure. The northbound 605 to the westbound 10, that ramp is going to be closed until 6 a.m. But what you can do if you need to get around it, exit off a valley, take it to Puente. That Puente will connect you to the 10 and you'll be on your way. We do have a little bit of slowing there in that westbound direction along the 210 freeway as you make your way over to Duarte. We also have another incident of construction over here on the uh, 405 freeway heading southbound. Your Lakewood off ramp that's going to be blocked until 6 a.m. as well due to some construction and you can always use Cherry Avenue as that alternate route. Now as we take it on that to the San Fernando Valley you can see we're at top speeds there on the 405 as you make your way right out of North Hills through Van Nuys and through that Sepulveda Pass the 101 also checking in accident free. Back to the desk. All right, Layla, thanks. So I don't think it's sticking, though. How about it's going to be crazy? Ah, like well, you never know, crazy. hey, right? <laughs> okay. All right, now let's take a look at your Orange County commute where everything seems to be nice and wide open, free of any accidents. You can see right here, 63 miles an hour as you make your way south, right out of Westminster into Fountain Valley over to Costa Mesa. Not seeing any problems out there. Your 57 freeway looking nice and clear right around that orange crush. The 22 also not giving us any problems whatsoever. Now let's take a look at your your 91 at Maple Drive where things are looking a little bit busy. If you're driving right through Corona and into that Santa Ana Canyon, you can see those taillights in the westbound direction looking a little bit thick at this hour, even at this early hour. So do give yourself plenty of extra time if you're going to be making your way in that area. Now taking a look at your drive right out of Norwalk through Santa Fe Springs, 71 miles an hour as you make your way northbound along that five freeway and into downtown. And as we take a look at that five and dime, the five and the 10 freeway, 67 miles an hour as you make your way down into East Los Angeles. The rest of your downtown drive looking nice and clear out there where uh, we don't have any accidents, certainly no slow ups and not any construction either, which is great news. And as we take a look at your drive along the 101 and the five, if you're taking your drive into downtown, doesn't matter which one you take, both are moving along at top speeds. Also want to let you know that we do have a motorcycle crash. We'll update you on that in my next report. But for now, we'll send it over to CBLA. All right. And we've got a serious motorcycle accident through Diamond Bar. Already a heavy backup. I'll tell you how to get around it in my next report. Very serious motorcycle crash. This is through Diamond Bar. And take a look at all this backup. Lots of slowing there, almost from Euclid, as you make your way out of Chino into Chino Hills and over to Diamond Bar. This crash happened right on that westbound 60, just before the 57. Again, one lane is blocked. It's also causing a little bit of looky-loo slowing there in that eastbound direction as well. Now, I want to tell you that we've got a couple of alternates. The first one would be the 10, but you know what? We've got a new crash out here as well. This is involving an 18-wheeler, and you are making your way westbound right around around Fairplex. So through Pomona over to the Kellogg interchange, you may see some delays out there. So take that 210 instead because that is checking in at top speeds and accident free. Now, as we take a quick look at your drive right along that 145, 65 miles an hour, as you make your way right out of the Antelope Valley over to the New Hall Pass, your Sepulveda Pass drive. That's looking pretty clear. A little tap on the brakes there through Van Nuys, 56 miles an hour as you make your way up towards that hill and over onto the west side. Kent, back to you. Layla, thanks. Our top story now on C. Well, we still have that very serious motorcycle crash in Diamond Bar. That traffic still extending all the way back from Euclid as you make your way out of Chino and over to this crash. Now you can always use that 10 freeway as an alternate, but we still have this crash out here. It's involving a big rig and it is on that westbound 10 just past Fairplex. Not really seeing any slowing in that area, which is great news. And then before I want to get to your alternates, I want to let you know that we do have another incident. A lot of trouble throughout the Diamond Bar Chino Hills area. Another crash solo spin out pickup truck southbound 57 just past Pathfinder as you make your way into Brea. One lane still blocked out there. Now for those alternates, if you need to get around the slowing on that 60 freeway, you can definitely take that 10 right into West Covina. The 60 looks pretty good there as you make your way over to Hacienda Heights. But right now that 210 right around Azusa, 35 miles an hour as you head over to that 605. Now we're going to take a look at that 105 drive right into LAX. You can see that we are at top speeds as we leave the, uh, the Norwalk area. 60 miles an hour as you make your way all the way over to the 405 freeway. We're not seeing any crashes and no slowdowns out there either. Sabila, back to you. All right. I'm Layla Gulen with your traffic time saver forecast. I will let you know that we do have a lot of congestion through Diamond Bar and how to get around it in my next report.